Coming to Unit 3, Energy Resources, Electricity Bill and Safety Measures in Basic Electrical and Electronics Engineering students. For ECE and CI, CSE, all this will be syllabus energy sources. This is the syllabus regarding energy resources, convention, non-convention energy sources, layout and operation of various power generating systems. Among this, question will come any one power plant for 10 marks. What is energy capacity to do work is called energy. Energy neither be created nor be destroyed. Energy resources uh, that produce power, heat, life, all this will be. Coming to conventional, non-conventional energy sources. The sources are classified based on their availability. If they consume continuously, it will exhaust. The energy sources which are exhausted, those are called as conventional energy sources. Conventional energy sources are petroleum, petroleum, natural gas, thermal energy, hydroelectricity. These are conventional energy sources. Conventional energy sources are continuous that is non-renewable energy sources. Conventional sources of energy are also known as non-renewable energy sources. When we use, we cannot reuse again. Those are conventional sources of energy or non-renewable energy sources. They are most important because they include coal, petroleum, natural gas, nuclear energy, all this will be. Coming to what is non-conventional. Non-conventional means the sources of energy which we can renewable easily the non-commercial energy sources the sources of energy which are being produced continuously in nature that is called non-conventional energy sources or renewable energy sources renewable energy sources are these are so suppose for example solar wind hydropower biomass all these are non-conventional energy sources tidal power wind power Non-conventional energy sources, one of that introduction, layout and operation of hydropower generation system. Hydrological, hydropower, how it generates. Hydroelectric power system convert kinetic energy of water into electrical energy by the use of turbine and alternator. Falling or flowing the water turns a propeller of the turbine. The turbine coupled to electrical generator alternator which produces electricity generation of electricity by hydropower one of the cleanest method because no pollution will be created in 2012 in india hydroelectric power plant contributed 16 percent of total electricity generation the hydroelectricity it is most renewable form of energy it is a flexible source of electricity also in layout to say if you see the layout of hydroelectric power plant this is a normal diagram a dam will be constructed to store the water based on dam height low head or medium head or high head power plants will be the dam and reservoir purpose is large river to encroach the water sufficient water storage at height it will be stored the dam forms a large reservoir behind it the height of water level called head the height of the water called head based on height of the water low head medium head high head water power plants hydro power plants they are classified dam construction it takes a huge time therefore initial cost will be high for hydroelectric power plants and another part is control gate control gate it is the control gate this control gate controls the water flowing into penstock water from the reservoir is allowed to flow through the penstock penstock is a pipe it is a steel pipe the amount of water is to be released in the penstock can be controlled by using control gate the control gate is fully open maximum amount of water will be released to the penstock penstock means it is a huge steel pipe which carries the water from reservoir to turbine 
potential energy of water is converted into kinetic energy that is penstock or due to gravity next water turbine turbine will be used that is water turbine water from the penstock is taken to water turbine turbine mechanically coupled to electrical power generator kinetic energy of water drives the turbine and continuously it generates electricity there are two main types of water turbines one is impulse turbine reaction turbine two types of turbines impulse turbines are used for large heads and reaction turbines are used for low and medium heads turbines reaction impulse rendu turbines vaadutuntaru idi normal ga ee power plant diagram block diagram you can see a surge tank provide chestunnaru pen stock excess of water ప్రెజర్ రిడ్యూస్ చేయడానికి సర్జ్ ట్యాంక్ అటు హై హెడ్ ఆర్ మీడియం హెడ్ వాటర్ పవర్ ప్లాంట్స్లో హైడ్రో ఎలక్ట్రిక్ పవర్ ప్లాంట్స్లో ఇది పెడతారు ఎ సర్జ్ ట్యాంక్ ఈజ్ ఎ స్మాల్ రిజర్వాయర్ ఆ ట్యాంక్ విచ్ ఓపెన్స్ ద టాప్ దిస్ ఈజ్ ద బ్లాక్ డయాగ్రామ్ ఆఫ్ హైడ్రో పవర్ ప్లాంట్ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ హైడ్రో పవర్ ప్లాంట్స్ ఆర్ కన్వెన్షనల్ పవర్ ప్లాంట్స్ అండ్ పంప్డ్ స్టోరేజ్ పవర్ ప్లాంట్ కన్వెన్షనల్ మీన్స్ పొటెన్షియల్ ఎనర్జీ అడ్ the conventional plants uses potential energy from deep dam or water only the energy exacted depends on volume of head of the water whereas pump storage means second reservoir constructed near the water flow these are the types only there are so many advantages no fuel is required for hydroelectric power plant neat and clean source of energy very small running charges disadvantage is high capital cost the kai cost of transmission as hydro plants located hilly areas and quite away from the consumer advantage is fuel is less no fuel is required water only neat and clean source of energy very small running charges running charges only initial capital is more that is the disadvantage ante large amount invest chesi mana dam construct cheyali plus power plant turbine anni construct cheyali that is the disadvantage